Can you believe January is over? I hope you are kicking off the year with a bang and hitting all those New Year's goals. Real Estate wins the MVP award for January with a shockingly high increase in contracts, mortgage applications, and lower rates. Today, I'm going to give you a market update and a bit of insight as to where I think things are headed as we enter into our busy spring season here in Arizona. From week one to week three of January, we saw a 22% increase in listings under contract. That is such an incredibly high rate of increase and it may actually be the highest we have ever recorded for this time period. We track our market via a metric called the Cromford Index. It is basically a combination of supply and demand here in Maricopa and Pinal counties. Markets such as Chandler and Avondale saw an over 40% increase in their index this month, while the more far east and west valley cities such as Buckeye and Queen Creek saw just under 10%, but still very positive news. Our strong markets such as Scottsdale, Paradise Valley, and Fountain Hills never even transitioned from being a seller's market to begin with, so their metrics are still very much holding out strong. Of our 17 major cities here in Greater Phoenix, only four remain in a buyer's market, four in a balanced market, and nine are considered a seller's market. If you've been following the news, mortgage applications are up over 28% since the first of the year, and rates are back below 6%. 599, but we'll take it. The latest CPI report showed inflation is slowing and mortgage rates go hand in hand with inflation. So the lower rates we are seeing are not that surprising. It is important to note that demand is without a doubt tied to rates. So any shifting upwards in rates could and most likely would soften the demand growth we are seeing in those mid-range price points. Luxury was not and is not very impacted by rate hikes in the same way $800,000 and under is impacted. Supply is always at a low peak this time of year as we re-enter normalcy post holidays. This year was no different. However, with the demand sharply increasing as it did this month, we did not see the same with supply, which was quite interesting. We are sitting today where we sat in July with approximately 14,800 active listings after spiking to almost 19,500 in October. This is where I have a few caveats to all the positivity in this video. And number one, the Airbnb market. Unless you've been living under a rock, you know that several events are headed our way in just a few weeks. With stricter Airbnb measures going into effect and the end of event season here in the Valley, will we see an uptick of Airbnb investors unloading those properties onto the resale market? Number two, rentals. We saw downward movement on the dollar per square foot in the rental market. Now this is seasonally normal, but it was a sharper decline than we have seen in years, if not ever. January saw an improvement for rental prices, but we are still sitting below the 12 month average. This again has me questioning investors and their motivation to possibly unload on some investment properties, especially if they were purchased within the last two years and they have a mortgage on the property. If you are looking to buy, I believe right now is a great opportunity. We still have some exhausted sellers who have been on the market since before the holidays, and there are deals to be had. Price reductions are down, which I'm sure is a result of showings picking up for these sellers. As demand picks up, so does competition, and we will most likely see the opportunity to get seller paid closing costs dwindle. So where are we headed? I can't say for certain, but I do believe we will have a healthy spring market with some volatility in the stronger markets multiple offers, over list price, all of it, but not in the level or degree we have seen the past two years. It will need to be priced accordingly and be move-in ready. We will see some investors that have been sitting back the past six months make moves and purchase. They know opportunity and they will take it. Most homeowners will see appreciation to their home values. However, it's important to note that a calm, stable market will produce about two and a half to 3% appreciation per year compared to the 28% we saw in 2021 and early 2022. That wasn't normal, and I can't say that enough. Long hold strategy is always the name of the game when it comes to real estate. If I had to place a bet, I would guess a 5% appreciation as a conservative estimate to the value growth we will see, but only time will tell. If you have any questions about the market, don't ever hesitate to reach out. I am just a phone call away.